What is encoding? What is decoding? What is the use of encoding and decoding? Encryption and encoding are same. How base64 encoding is working? You don't have idea? Let's continue this video. Hi all, this is 5th tutorial of Fresh series. Today we are going to discuss about encoding and decoding. I hope this is a term you already came across or will come to know this about in this software industry because it is commonly used in all the programming languages and scripting languages. Let's start. This is our agenda of tutorial. What is encoding? What is decoding? Uses of encoding and types of encoding. First we will discuss about what is encoding. Encoding is the process of putting a sequence of characters such as letters, numbers or other special characters into a specialized format for efficient transmission. Based on our upcoming example, you will get the clear idea on this. Let's we move on to the next, then we can uh, come back. Consider you having the set of character, you having the specific encode formatters. Actually, the encoding and decoding is not unique for particular format. There in industry, there is a multiple encoding and decoding format. So consider you are applying one encoding format based on this encoding format, your characters getting converted to encoder string. So that's what I mean here. You having the set of character, your encoding format uh, will get the input and it will rep give the output for new encoder string. Okay. What is decoding? Decoding is a process of reverse the character to base using this same encoder format meaning for example you already encoded one string so in this case you will it is a reverse process your encoding string will give the input to the encoder format i mean you having the some encoder format right it will get, get the input and it will be deserialized to the base character so that's what i mean here decoder is a process of reverse reverse the character to base using the same encoder format I will show you in example so that you will get clear idea. First, we have to understand why it is needed. What is the purpose of encoding and decoding? The main goal of encoding to represent represent or transfer data as it is. For example, you having set of strings. So you are going to use it in your HTML or you are going to transfer this in your mail content or you are going to transfer to your remote system using some AP calls. So in that case, uh, you are expecting the what you have mentioned, the same format has to transfer, has to represent. So some cases we could not. I will show you why it is. So in that case, this encoding is helpful to rep represent or transfer as it is without breaking or misleading of process. This is the main purpose and usage of encoding. The second. It is not securing the data, only for handling the data. One thing we have to understand that people will get confused encryption with the encoding. The encryption is totally different. The encryption and decryption is only for securing our data. But the encode is represent, represent or transfer the data as it is. Because the if you are doing some encoding, the encoding log logic is standard in the industry. So everyone know about that. If you are implementing this encoding as a, a security purpose, you will lose because the, even the end user can able to decrypt that, even the intermediate able to decrypt that. But the encryption is totally different. The encryption using some specific key, we, we are going to do the conversion. So in that case, the middle user won't know that what is the key they are using it. Okay, first you have to clearly understand the differentiate between the encoding and the decoding. Also encryption and the decryption. The encoding and decoding is a standard of representation or transfer the data. The encryption is using for securing the data. Okay. Let's we discuss about types of encode. There is a multiple types of encoded. I, I am giving here only three because these are the things are majorly using in our industry. One is HTML encode. Another one is URL encode. The third one base 64. This three things you have to know because uh, in any programming language you will use this base 64 uh, most of them using uh, they will say like i am using the base 64 enc encoding i am giving the decode but they doesn't know what internally happening they will say url encode but they doesn't know what happening so when, uh, whenever you are using something don't use blindly because 
you have to know what internally happen maybe we having the you know, predefined method predefined tool predefined logics to do that but at least we have to know the logic what internally happen okay let's we discuss about these things detail so that you will uh, get clear idea of encode and decode see here i am having on a simple html page here i am just displaying engine string okay if you go to this site you can see i am getting the engine so uh, my need is like i have to display this in uh, engine as like with bracket it considering as a tag because the html having some standard all the tags are uh, enclo enclosed with opening and closing angle brackets so in that case if i represent like this it will consider as it is a one of tag but in real it is not like that so here we need some encoding format that's the reason they are using the html encoder format so in that case instead of representing this opening angle bracket i can have a like ambassan lt colon instead of this ambassan i will show you what is this see here i got the expectation the angle bracket so now i here i use the html encoder format this html encoder format having the set of characters they having some predefined tables for every individual character they having some alternate character for example for uh, angle they are refer representing it is a less than bra angle bracket right so lt so all the html encoder format start with ambassan and end with semicolon so here these two character represent this less than so same way it is represent greater than symbol so if we are using this all the browser having the predefined encoding capability so they will do decode there so while giving the definition we are doing the encoder specification so this decode happening in the browser the, that's the reason we are getting here so if i inspect here you can see i am having this if i go to uh, view source you can see we are giving this so while converting this dom it is doing the decode so uh, i am giving the simple example here this what is really happening in the html encode and decode so they having some predefined structure as okay we can uh, let's we discuss next uh, url encoding the url having certain limitations the url won't allow all the characters as it is because uh, it going to travel in the internet world internet protocol so in that case it could not allow all the characters so they having some representation some cases we need to specify that non allow characters so uh, we can use this url encode so for example we need to specify the space in url so if we are specifying the space that url encode will specify as a percentage 20 it will specify plus so like the way they having some set of predefined encode strings so whenever we are giving the url we are restricting to the particular special characters so in that case we can go with the url encode so we can encode our url and give that decode automatically in the end actually we should not use the decrypt here because the de decrypt and encrypt is totally different as i said previous we have to uh, use decode here you are clear okay uh, right now we discuss about the html encode and url encode let me move on to the next that is uh, how the base 64 is doing encode so let me show you some samples for example here i am giving the name ngen i am specifying one special characters here so here you can see i am getting the base 64 string like this so uh, some cases we could not use the special characters even uh, some cases we we need we having the need to use most of special characters but in in network while transferring we it won't allow or it will get break so in that case we want to use the direct representation of these ascii characters i mean these characters these characters will convert into base 64 and we will do the transformation mission actually mostly the images even the mail content everything converted into base 64 format and we will do the transfer at the end and they will re decode that base 64 so this is happening so we have uh, right now we discuss the html and url they having the direct representation of characters to encode and decode but the base 64 is some logics they having it to do that let's we discuss about that uh, here uh, this is a table they having it for encode and decode i am having the character engine so i am going to decode this so we already see the engine we get this is the output as a base 64 okay we will uh, we will first discuss how it derived from engine to this okay first we have to discuss this uh, character will convert into ascii digital number meaning here you can see our engine will convert into decimal number how it getting digital number 
because we having the sum table let me show you that to the american standard code format they have given it for every characters they having some de decimal format for that here you can see our capital n represent 78 so our capital j represent 74 so like the way they having some representation so this representation only i am mentioning as a our character is converted into decimal format this is our decimal format of this four okay so then this decimal format will converted into binary the same thing here you can see our 78 will converted like this eight digit binary actually the why they are calling as a base 64 because they are using the six bit six bit in the sense six elements okay so 2 to the power of 6 so 2 to the power of 6 came to the 64 uh, that's the reason they are using base 64 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 16 into 2 32 32 into 2 64 so this is re represent 2 to the power of 6 actually here i am not able to specify the power just con consider power okay 2 to the power of 6 i can so it came to the 64 that's the reason they are calling as a base 64 okay they are going to use uh, six bit character we got the this binary representation of these digits so again this digits going to convert like 0 1 0 0 okay this eight bit splitted as a six six bit because here uh, for 78 digit they having the uh, eight bit character but uh, this eight bit converting into six bit so first what will do this all will came to merge think i have joined all this okay again it will be move on to the 010011 we got first uh, six bit 100010101 so like the way it will get here we having one constraint that's uh, at the end we are getting only this 10 i think i missed it somewhere because here we having only zero right here i missed zero as i told we merged here yes here while, while splitting 66 we get only this 10 but uh, our base 64 format is a six digit right so they will add to four zeros here so if they are four zeros at the end they will represent equal to. for this two zero they will represent single equal to. if they are mentioning as a four digit four zero they will represent two equal to. in base 64 we will specify as a padding character able to equally split this uh, eight digit bit to six digit so we won't, uh, we won't get this equal to symbols so here we converted so again this digits has to be i mean this binary has to be converted to set digits so let me use some online tool so here you can able to see i am getting the digit again this character this digit compare with base 64 character tables for 19 what we having it here t it is this okay what about 36 for 36 we have having small k for 41 q 41 sorry p okay 33 h 27 b 32 g we got this but here we added some padding four zeros so we are added to equal to so this is happening internally in base 64 format so uh, simply i can say this encode and decode but we have to know what internally happen we are not going to do this all these things because every programming language is predefined methods are there to do the encode and decode even the base 64 but we have to understand what internally happen what are the strings we are given the string is converted into ascii digits this ascii digits again converted into 8 bit binary this 8 bit binary combined and splitted into 6 bit binaries those 6 bit binary again converted into digits that digits converted based on this base 64 table again this character you can see here we having only 64 totally from starting to 63 all the values are represented by the small characters here we are not having the any special characters so that's the reason all the special characters we can able to convert it into our uh normal character string okay so let we move on to the now the slides so that you will get clear idea 
So let's read it again. Encoding is a process of putting a sequence of characters such as letters, numbers or other special characters into a specialized format. Here I told right. Engine is our character. That character is uh, came to the specialized format in the sense where we are using the encode. We used the base sixty four encode, so it came to the specialized format of transmission. This is an encoding. So uh, here we given the engine is our input. The encode format is a base sixty four. It came to the string the T E P F. That is a uh, output. Okay. The decode again. The decode is a pass of reverse and character. Let me sh show you that one into. See here, I am giving this decoded value in base sixty four. I am getting the engine back. So this how it is by uh, doing again. It is converting into digit. This digit converted into binaries of six digit. And based on that sequence, it will remove that and it will append to the eight bit binary. That eight bit binary again moving to the digit. That digit moving to the again the ASCII character. This is happening internally. Now you are clear, right? So uh, the usage of uh, decode, you got it. Also, these types of encode, as we discuss, HTML encode, URL encode, base sixty four encode, you are clear. If you having the need doubts, please put it on command window. I will try to clear it. Bye. We will meet you on next video.